since you are a part of the impact team, uh, my first question to you would be, can you unravel the word impact for all of us? Sure. So keep my meaning to the social sector. Right? So while we work in the sector, I think when we say impact, we, we say that any change uh, that we influence or catalyze uh, for the citizens that we work for, any change in their economic condition, their social condition, their educational condition uh, that helps them uh, overcome their limitations, helps them succeed, uh, we will call that as impact. So that brings me to the second question that what is uh, impact and measurement in the CSR ecosystem? So impact is usually the highest order of result. The other jargons that we use in the ecosystem are outcomes and outputs. So usually we refer to outcomes as a medium order result and output as a lower order result. And when we are talking about results, it's always important to measure these results. So uh, when we work with programs, we try and articulate their theory of change. We try and develop a system that is able to develop indicators so that they can be measured over the course of the program and as the program culminates. Measurement helps us understand whether we've been able to reach the result that we desired. Tweak our initiatives or activities so that we are able to reach the desired result. So impact and measurement go hand in hand because uh, measurement informs our journey towards the result and it also helps us understand whether we've reached our result. Talk about the craze for numbers and the significance of impact. How do you uh, connect these two things? Uh, whenever we say measurement uh, or research, most often people talk about quantitative and qualitative, right? So when we say quantitative, we usually refer to them as numbers. Right. And when we say qualitative, we look at it as stories, mm -hmm. right? But whenever there's measurement referred, people always uh, look forward to quantitative numbers and miss the whole story aspect uh, of change. So uh, how are they different from each other and what is the significance of each of them? Uh, I would say that it's important that when we're talking about numbers, uh, they are represented in a way that people understand those numbers. You spoke about representation of data. And if there is a huge project that has a lot of uh, huge intervention, so does it make you difficult to analyze the data? Is there a learning tool that you use for that? Analyzing data begins with designing a program, right? If we invest time in, in articulating results mm -hmm. and indicators, when a program is conceived, then collecting data, analyzing them, becomes much easier uh, depending on sometimes the breadth of uh, uh, the result we want to reach or the depth of the result we want to reach right so it's important that we invest significant time uh, yeah. desired result that we work, we work towards it's important that we first uh, have a clear idea of what a problem statement is right. and how do we arrive at a problem statement mm -hmm. right what kind of situational analysis or a need analysis uh, we have done to be able to understand that this change will work and this change won't work. Considering the kind of CSR framework that we work within, uh, I'm sure that there are a lot of challenges that you might foresee while putting uh, the impact and measurement model, right? So can you highlight some of the challenges that you face? So currently they use measurement to uh, generate transparency, accountability for the kind of investment they make in a specific program or a project, right? To be able to understand if that investment has gone to the right direction and is it creating the change they desire, right? Um, but this measurement often doesn't inform their decisions for the future. Right. The next area I would say is that since the CSR ecosystem today operates generally in an annual life cycle, uh, they push the measurement also to be in a very annualized life cycle. And when, when we are trying to work on higher order results, which is impact, those necessarily don't happen uh, in such immediate uh, effect. So um, to be able to observe 
measure a change in condition requires a significant amount of time uh, and energy you know uh, to have these numbers and stories to be narrated right. so that i would again say is a limitation uh, because we operate in a very annualized life cycle so with that do you have a couple of suggestions to corporates to organizations uh, on how they can you know make impact and measurement an integral part of the csr projects one has to understand that uh, if this has been mandated the legislation is acknowledging the fact yeah. that impact requires that kind of time to be measured uh, you know at a certain time absolutely uh, so i would want to take that as a promise so when when we realize uh, that impact assessment is usually uh, done in two years after the intervention all of us acknowledge the fact that to be able to measure any change that we have pushed catalyzed uh, in this uh, period mm -hmm. will require a certain other period to be yeah. uh, measured right so uh, while they are investing in impact assessment i would also advocate that when they are supporting the intervention measurement is part of their design so uh, implementing organizations do not have a lot of scope to change because it's already signed off yeah right so uh, the importance of monitoring or measurement in any program is to uh, give a red flag to areas where we are not moving towards a desired result and if we are not moving towards a desired result it's important that we change the course of our intervention right so to be able to uh, change the course of intervention it's important you have evidence mm -hmm. and your evidence comes from your measurement so if i'm advocating any change on a course design uh, it's important that the corporate uh, or the funding partner understands what is the basis for this change and the basis of this change come from measurement activities so therefore it's not just uh, looking at impact assessment investing in looking at impact assessment two years later but also investing in measurement during the course of the intervention so that uh, evidence is informs uh, course changes and therefore helps us reach our results so anand uh, i think nascom foundation has come a long way in the impact journey right so what are some of the things that you have done to put this framework together um, we try to look at it in four buckets so we look at it in the form of design measure review and learn we've transitioned from a very activity based programming design to a result based programming design uh, we also invested a lot in review right both in the context of evaluation and in the context of validation so uh, as a function we play an important role to be able to review the evidences uh, do field visits understand have conversations with the stakeholders to be able to understand whether this change has worked i think as an organization uh, learning becomes an important uh, aspect for us to progress so uh, as a function we try to consolidate the trends the practices uh, using data and uh, you know engage each program vertical to be able to help them understand uh, in an annual basis of what can be uh, future recommendations for their uh, you know respective uh, verticals how we could try and measure more effectively or collect data more effectively to be able to inform our decisions i think this was really informative and it's it's an area that we should talk a lot more about and uh, i think your inputs have been really helpful and thank you so much for your time thank you so i think i think uh, for starters this is a conversation uh, that would help people in the ecosystem uh, understand and and have things in perspective but i'm sure uh, when we get into more deeper aspects of a, of impact and measurement we'll be able to understand much more so thank you very much thank you